Hello everyone, Fontani, the Scout Ghost. Today I want to talk with you about Player22, a game by Reiser, that is a company that has always made training, professional training for athletes in VR, and now wants to enter the consumer market and is providing this experience for Oculus Quest, where you can train and stay fit at home with a series of mini games. I think it's quite interesting, so I want to show you how it is and explain to you what I like of it and what I didn't like that much. As I said, Razil's Player 22 is like a collection of little training experiences, like mini games for fitness. So it's better to explain what I have been able to play so that you can understand it better. So for instance, the first game that I played is called Headers, and it's a game that teaches you how to have a you know, a headshot in football, in soccer, so that you can score. And the game is all about having balls that are right towards you and trying to hit them with your head so that they fall inside some hoops, so that uh, you have to put the ball into the target with your head. So it's a game inspired by football. There is Hoops Vision. It is a game where you have a basketball in your hand you have to move around to touch some hoops that comes towards you from a front rail, a bit, you know, like synth riders. You have this ball, this basketball, you have to hit objects that come towards you, so you have to move this way. Then there is the reaction wall. If you have a grid of lights, one turns on, you have to touch it. When you touch it, another, wall, another light turns on, you have to touch it, and so on. So you have to test your reactions and understand the uh, where is the light and touching it. And these are training sessions. And there is something that is called a game that is, for instance, a razor block. So you have a, a racket, a tennis racket in your hands, a robots that throw balls at you. You have to hit them with your racket to destroy some blocks that are maybe like four or five meters in front of you. So <clears throat> as you can see, there are different sports. They are considered, a for every sport, a training session, a new game, we can say, has been invented, has been created to make you stay fit or train your uh, reaction or train your muscles or make you do some cardio uh, with a game inspired by that sport. And all these sessions are usually quite short, so I can say one minute, one minute and a half, three minutes, or something like that. So, because the training sessions usually are quite intense, not as intense, you know, as a crazy kung fu or our heat motion reloaded, but anyway, you can feel the fatigue. So that's why a short training session, so you can rest a bit and then train again. Um, these games are made in different ways. So for instance, the soccer one is very focused about teaching you how to shoot uh, to hit the ball with your head so that to score a goal. So there are different levels with the progression uh, from very simple big targets to targets that become small, um, targets that become colored, so if the ball is red you have to hit the red target, ball is yellow, yellow target and so on. And there are various levels to show you these progressions and also there is a training, initial training session that teaches you how is the correct way of hitting a ball with your head? What is the professional players do? And that's very interesting. As, since I love football, <laughs> I love soccer, I was very happy for Italy at Euro 2021. Um, I was very happy to learn the correct way of hitting a ball with your head. I love this training session. Instead, for instance, Hoops Vision is inspired by basketball, but it's not really a basketball training. It is more cardio, rhythm game with the basketball. It somewhat is parallel basketball and the fact that you can move with a ball in your head, but it's not a thing. It's not a training. And also there are not levels. There are different songs with different, you know, patterns of hoops that come towards you and some modifiers. So you can make, for instance, that the first error, the game is over. Or things like that. The same for the action world, they are not levels, it's good for training your reflexes. Uh, there are some modifiers, so for instance, you can add the, um, the colors, so you can have 
the red in your right hand, you have to hit only red lights, the blue in left hand, only blue lights, and so on. The tennis game is all about uh, tennis and our levels, but you have to start always with the first one and go towards all the levels to win. So different ways of providing training, and I can say this is a bit confusing in my opinion because it is not coherent. I mean, with soccer, I train to become a soccer player, and that's amazing. Uh, while, for instance, for tennis, I just play a game. Um, basket, the game is absolutely not related to basket, and sometimes you have level, sometimes you have not. So, I think it's, this is a bit confusing. Uh, it doesn't ruin your experience, or probably would have preferred a more coherent experience, or at least something that teaches you how to play the game in total, in general. I mean, um, it's very good that you have tutorials. Probably the tutorials are a bit long for every game mode, but you have just to play them once and they teach you everything, so that's okay for me. Uh, but probably I would have preferred you know, some training programs, like you do three minutes of hoop vision to warm up, then you play 10 minutes of headers, then you go tennis or whatever. And also that they teach you better how to, to play the various games or something like that. Um, because for instance, if I start immediately with the headers game, the football game, my neck hurts a bit because I start immediately doing this fast movement and it's not good for my neck, so it's better maybe we start with another game, so to warm up, etc. So, I would have prefer some training programs, and also I would have prefer that more games were like the soccer, where I really learned something that can be useful to play a sport. That's my taste, of course, um, but I really love that thing of the soccer. Um, there are some DLCs. Um, so, for instance, you can play another game, so not only a tennis one. Uh, and, for instance, you can buy also the um, new skins. So, you can buy branded, buy Adidas, ball, or gloves, or whatever merch you use in the game. You can customize it with your brand. There are some paid DLCs and also DLCs, as I said, for games, etc. I think this is good to get a, an economy for this game. Personally, I'm never a big fan of skins, but there are people that really find them relevant. I'm interested in buying, for instance, more training, more levels. So that's something smart from Rizal, I think. Um, then another thing, always regarding the training side, I would have preferred that the game also controls how I'm moving. So when I'm playing the, the headers, uh, I started by following all the rules they told me in the training. But then I started just keeping, you know, making a mix between what I've been taught and something that I really felt doing. So it's, I don't think I make the correct movement anymore. I probably would have preferred the game to say to me, mm, you're not doing the right movement. You have to do it in this other way to be a professional player. I know it's super hard, so I don't blame at all the developers for this. It requires AI, ML, or, uh, big analysis on the body joints, blah, blah, blah. So it's an idea for the future. It's not a critic to the developers, but I think it would be very, very cool to implement. Um, another thing is that, that I didn't like, but again, it's not the fault of the developers that you don't have haptic feedback. And it's very hard to provide a good header with, without feeling the ball. It's very hard to use a racket without feeling the ball. So this is overly complicated. So that's probably also why it is not marketing as a real training, more like a fitness experience, because it's almost impossible to do this kind of sports without haptics. And again, it's not, I'm not blaming the developers. It's impossible to do. Ourselves do, are doing a boxing training game without a target you can touch. So it's something that we all that work in their feet and I have to cope with. But of course, it's sometimes a bit difficult to do, you know, the, um, your head, the shot with your head, and the ball goes in another direction than you expected. And you're like, why? <laughs> with, uh, with haptics, it will be much, much easier. Um, but 
Apart from this, uh, I think the training session it offers is usually fine. Um, especially like, apart from the tennis game that I'm not a huge fan, I like all the other three ways of training. Hoops vision is good for the cardio to warm up. The reaction wall is good to train my reflexes. And the football game is good because I like football and teaches me how to, you know, use my head to shoot the ball. And also, it is good to, um, to challenge myself because the more I go on, the more the levels are becoming difficult and it's always a new challenge. And I love this sense of challenge, honestly. And I love also that there are the statistics when you're on the level and say what has been your biggest trick, your reaction times, if you hit the ball in the right way, uh, blah, 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 what is your score? And that's good gamification mechanics. There's also global leaderboard for every level in no list training session. It's good for gamification to enhance me to write on again every day. And the fact that training sessions are quite short, like, you know, I can also play five minutes between a uh, true uh, session of hard work. It's good, you know, to stay fit even if you have a little time. It's not a game that to start and play one hour. You can play Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes is absolutely fine. So that's why I'm using it actually every day. Maybe not every, every day, but I'm using it quite often um, because I managed to have it some weeks ago. And that's, I think, it's the most important if you can get from this review. I like to return to Razzle to challenge myself in some games, to stay fit for a limited time. Remind, reminds me other games that I'm loving about fitness. I don't know, for instance, in the hoop that I still have to review, I love the same sense of challenge and movement. And again, it was a game about the sport. And here I like it as well. So I like that I can play sports that I like. I love basketball, I love soccer. Uh, it lets me in staying fit. It is challenging, it requires me just a little time. So I'm really liking player 22 release. It's, a, it's an experience that I'm enjoying a lot. There are some glitches here and there. Uh, sometimes it doesn't detect the hoops when I'm touching them in the basketball game. Sometimes there are in the reaction world some targets I'm not seeing because the POV of the headset is uh, smaller than in real life. So I have to look a bit around. Sometimes the um, the, the football game also, the ball goes in a direction that I think is correct, blah, blah, blah. It's a VR game. There are some glitches here and there. It's not easy. Uh, as I said, there are some issues in the um, uh, how I think the um, there should be a more coherent training. Um, I already told you that it is not a perfect game in this sense. But I'm returning every day. And this is what is most important. So really I'm enjoying it. And it's not probably a perfect training, but it's a good training. It's a fun training. It's a challenging training. And it's hugely inspired by sports. And that's what I really appreciate of Isis Player 22. Uh, the game is launching today for $15 on the Quest Store. Personally, I think it's a fair price, especially if it gets updated with some improvements and more levels and things like that. Um, I, for how it is now, probably will the price is some euros less, but if they update it five, fifteen dollars, I think it's a very fair price, especially for a game that I'm personally enjoying. So you have to consider if you are a person that like to have fitness sessions in VR. And maybe you already, you also like sports and this kind of thing, so you like short training sessions. This can be the game for you. Um, <clears throat> if you especially are already able to think about how to structure your training using heterogeneous mini games, then this is perfectly okay for you. Then this game is perfect also for you. So. My suggestion is to check it out on Oculus Store. I will leave you the link here below because it's a very interesting game. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Hands on impressions on Player22 by Razel. If you have whatever questions about it, let me know in the comments here below. For now, I invite you, of course, to like, subscribe, blah, 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 usual things, Patreon. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. And I wish you a great day in VR. Same feed. Bye-bye.